What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Prince, and I'm back at it again with another video today, man. Today we have Ghost of Tsushima, one of the most anticipated games of 2020, besides Assassin's Creed. But you know, it seems good. A samurai game, where well, you can get that at, you know? But anyway, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button for me. And if you are new, subscribe because we're going to be doing fun gameplays and games that you love to watch. Also, comment down below and let me know what games you want to see on this channel. Let's get into this. Wow. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, customization, special modes, but first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. That scenery right there, bro? That was nice. And I think I said Tashima right. Tashima? Mm -hmm. Wow. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? That's a huge map, bro. Use the guiding wind to navigate the island. So the wind takes us where we want to go. That's dope. Dope. Samurai Jack, bro. Oh, we got horses in here? Is this Red Dead or something? Bro, just look at this game, bro. Yeah, we definitely playing this game. June 11th, guys. Note that. Call a gust of wind at any time to point you in the right direction. So there's no HUD. I'm guessing you could craft in this game too. Cause you just picked up bamboo. Yeah, you probably could craft. Oh, that's a bear, bro. That's crazy. This looks like Red Dead, low-key, but like a samurai version. There's no HUD or nothing. All you see is the game, I guess, dope. The Guiding Wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd-shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no more. We in the forest. Some birds will lead Jin, the point of interest. I'm guessing the character name is Jin. Stay away, 
my lord? The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. My lord? Let's go, Nobu. What is he, a king or something? Oh, is this an abandoned building? Explore abandoned buildings to collect rare resources. Yeah, I'm guessing you can craft in his game if he could collect resources. What is that? Oh, that's a fox. Foxes will guide you into hidden shrines across the island. This is an open, open world game. I'm guessing you unlock something after you get three of those? A charm? Once you visit a location, you'll be able to return with fast travel. Okay. Sushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Bro, look at this game. Imagine this game on a PlayStation 4 Pro with 4K TV, like. But imagine this game on a PS5. This is definitely being remastered. Wow, bro. This looks so cool. Like, I'm getting this game. That hat, though, makes me look like a cowboy. Jin the Samurai. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Yeah, guys. It's time to get violent. We're about to get real violent out here. Yeah, we're about to. Yeah, we're about to pull out that sword and start slaughtering them people. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me! Mmm. Ooh. Yo. That was crazy. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. I could already tell. I might be trash at this game. But I'm still gonna play it though. Mm. How you got a shield but still got killed by a sword? Change combat sensors to inflict the most damage against specific types. He said, Dosha! 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 Yeah, that was dope, guys. So that was his ghost, Jin the ghost. 
Okay. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Even using fear as a weapon. Wait, I'm confused. Is this the ghost? Or was the other person the ghost? I think this is the ghost. I can't wait for this game. That was nice. Smoke bombs are used for evasion or unseen attacks. Or an unseen attack. So the objective is to destroy the black powder kick or cack if I'm saying it right Jin can use his grappling hook to climb or swim across is it me or this game Loki's like Assassin's Creed but like the samurais. See, me guys playing this game in this mission, I would just killed everybody and then did that. Being sneaky on this? I don't know. Customize engine. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai, or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well.
That's dope, bro. That's real dope. It wouldn't be a Sucker Punch game if it didn't have photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. We have a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great about our game. You can control the wind's direction, the speed, you can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. We can use this for thumbnails. Oh yeah. Japanese voice track. A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. I have no idea what they're saying. Samurai Cinema. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Dasha! Somebody make a move. Ooh. I like this, but I like color better. Today, we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, or customize Jin, or play in special ways. But we have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. I was getting around the whole time. July 17th, guys, not June. Make sure you note that July 17th. Well, guys, that's the video for today. Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. And also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. We be posting gameplays all the time. Make sure you check them out. It's been your boy Prince. I'll see you in the next video.